It's amazing. The community is amazing. I mean, I know I won this award, but I feel like it's our award, this community's award. He's a cheerleader. He's upbeat. People love to respond to him, and we all do. As you can see, John is a master at acquiring donations of all shapes and sizes and quantities. John touches people on a daily basis. Uh, whether or not they are aware of that, whether or not they realize his involvement, he's genuine. Uh, his heart is bigger than the whole community. Very selfless. It's not for self-promotion. That is not what John is about. It's that he truly cares about about all the passions that he gets involved with this. And people recognize that. They know that the genuine aspect and they're willing to give. We would have a, a void in our community without friends like John Six. He has been incredible in getting support for the closet, not only with the Pack the Back event, but with getting volunteers. We provide them a shopping experience in Kelly's Closet where they get to choose. It's a little bit of self-worth just normalcy to be like other kids, to be able to go shopping and uh, pick things out like other kids get to do. I don't think we would be having a Pack the Back event without John. We wouldn't have the resources to do it or the volunteers to be able to put it on. Our initial project was the Spot Clinic, which is our spay neuter clinic. We had raised several thousand, hundreds of thousands of dollars on this. We were reluctant as a board to continue, to start without all the money in place. John urged us to start. He said the public will support if you will break ground. We broke ground and he was right. The clinic has done over 37,000 spay neuters since its inception, which was the fall of 2013. The goal of the clinic is to reduce pet overpopulation. John has done a lot and he does a lot for adoptions and he's just incredible. The organization may function as well, but it certainly wouldn't have nearly the monetary <laughs> donations and the amount of fundraising, it would take us years longer without his support. I come from a very loving family. Um, we didn't have a whole lot growing up, but we had love. And my dad taught us, as, as well as my mom, you know, share it, you know, help, help others. I have the resources of great friends. And if I can put the need out there, they want to help. But sometimes they're busy, they don't know the need is out there. What we do is we have a wall. Everyone seems to call those our magic shelves. And when we finish one project, we start another one. I get a lot of self-gratification out of it. Um, just knowing that not I, but it's we that are making a difference in this community. I could not do it without friends.